before we get going uh, too much on this pole project, uh, I had several comments about people wanting to see the lamp with the light on. So here it is. It's uh, a bit up here where you can see the different designs in it and so forth. It's, it's pretty. It puts out a decent amount of light. Here, that'll give you a better idea. You definitely, if you build something like this, you absolutely must use an LED light in it because you don't want to use a, a light that puts out heat. Now the shade, let me turn it off here. Now I'm going to leave it on. Okay. This, uh, this cap epoxy the nut inside that little piece of walnut. Get this off. There you go. Turn that off a little bright. And and the uh, the stand right here I had to cut and take a piece out of it and weld it back together. But there you are. Don't forget an LED light, that's uh, that's a 40 watt, the littlest one I could find. Now hitting this hole cutting back in here, now that's a horse of a different color. I'll do that off camera, but see, there it is my friends. Thank you and take care and let's get on with the bowl. Well hello and welcome to my shop. You see that? That's a uh, black walnut, nice crotch. I'm going to take that out back and get it after with a chainsaw. Make me a bowl blank, maybe two. Well, I got company coming this weekend from out of town, so I thought I'd turn my daughter-in-law a bowl. Daughter-in-law, I'm sorry, sister-in-law a bowl. So this is a big old piece of walnut. I, it was a crotch, so it ought to be off a pretty as 12 inches, so I ought to be able to get her about a 10-inch bowl out of it at least. So I got it on a face plate with uh, six long screws in it. That's what I'll do. I don't much believe it'll come off of there, but I'm going to do this anyhow. That's some bark here. It's pretty good bark. I thought could have made a natural edge. I, well, not quite because it had a limb sticking out right there. So, just another walnut bowl. All right. What kind of uh, tool wrist do you think I'm going to need? I think I'm just going to do it from this end first. So I don't need a great big one. I'm going to embark on a different project next week. And after my company goes home, I'm going to modify this banjo. It irritates me that they, they put this tire way back here. I'm going to put another one up here. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, back up, back up, back up. There we go. And naturally, I'm going to use the beaver. That's about the only tool I need anymore. So, first thing I'm going to do is check my level. Turn my face, my viewer, my camera around this way so. I can see if it's see if it's recording. Normally I, I don't and I don't notice it if it stops. So maybe maybe it's a stop me from doing. I believe I just ran out of SD card on that last video and never noticed it. Okay, we're doing good at uh, 300. We're going, okay, going, 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 going. It's like an auction. There we go. I'm getting a shake at about five and a half. That's about a good place to stop.
clean it up a little bit. Make it a party. Perfect. Ooh, that's going to be a party. Let's just see what we got here. Hope I didn't get it too deep. May have to whittle some of that off. I could do. Ten and a half, close to inch and a half. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some seal on the outside so it starts seeing. Now here's your little tip of video. I decided to uh, my dust collector wasn't pulling real right, so I decided to clean it out. So I came out here and uh, I noticed what a bunch of real fine dust is up here in the bag. You just see it falling. So I decided that for for filling things that you know the crack is really deep or something, that I would collect me some of this stuff. All right. Well, there's your tip of video, guys. I got it set up, and I'm in the process of drilling me a depth hole here with a Forrester bit. Normally I use a spade bit. I guess I just grabbed this. So that's what I'll use. When that moisture starts getting warm, it'll basically weld your bit in there if you're not careful. So I don't go no more than about the depth of that. Right about there. I'll come back. Let it clear out. And I'll get that. There you go. That's it. Oh yeah, that'll work. 
It's almost beaver time. <laughs> I had to go put on a long sleeve shirt. I had forgotten it. I'm probably allergic to walnut oil because it's already starting to, I can feel it now, itching on my arm. I scrubbed them. Maybe, I hope it ain't too late. this thing and, uh, and dry it overnight and then finish it up tomorrow. Here, 17%. 
19, 28. Sapwood. Got a lot more moisture in it. Yeah, 26, 28. All right. And what I do is I just take a fan. Put it in right. Now we'll turn this fan on all night long. There you go. And we'll check that tomorrow. This side's got a sealer on it, so it ought to keep some moisture from coming out the back. Should do though. I've got a pith right here. Should put a little bit of in that pith. Should have any more. Hmm. Well, this time. Put in that one. And a bit in that one. There you go. Get to there tomorrow, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll finish this devil up. It's going to be pretty. There, another dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what that is. Hey, good morning. Well, I've had this fan I'm blowing on this bowl right now for about 18 hours. And uh, last night, I took the meter and I tested it. 28% in the sapwood area and 19% in the, uh, I guess, the hardwood or whatever. So I'm going to test it again. Turn it on. Got it on A for walnut. We're going to the sapwood right here. And we have 15.6. Alright. Now we're going to go test the regular wood. So that went from 28 to 15.6 overnight. This is 11.5. It went from 19 to 11.5. And it doesn't appear to have very much warpage at all. And I think it's basically in pretty good shape. I actually think I'm going to leave it just like that and just sand it. I'm going to finish the inside with uh, Omega Food Safe, so I'm going to finish it with mineral oil. So, let's get on with it and double check it right up here. 12.6, 11.1, this is a sapwood, this is where it was the wind, it's 14. Come down here in uh, 12. I would say this this is just pert near dry. There are no cracks, and it appears. Let me turn it on. All right. It's a little warpage, but it's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the way to go. Just put a little fan on it overnight, and it will wick all that moisture out of it. Better than a microwave, better than six months in a bag. There you go. That ought to have been the tip of the day, shouldn't it? All right, so I'm going to sand a while, and I'll get back with you with a finish, and I believe this bowl will be done. I'm sanding it here. <laughs> Like I said, I'm going to use uh, mineral oil on the inside. It's going to be a salad bowl, I think. So it's probably... My gosh. That stuff disappeared in a heartbeat. Friends. You 
as we'd ever. Yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and come back. Do it all over again. I'd I'd put a little more Danish oil on it because from the other view you, you couldn't see what I was doing. Really should put it on until it doesn't soak it up anymore. This thing is as smooth as glass. Let that dry a little bit and maybe it'll do a little better job. Okay, catch you later. Well, I got her flipped around on the jam chuck. See if I can't cut this tenon off a little bit. Whirl it up. I don't believe it can go anywhere. When in doubt, go back to the beaver. that off, get rid of that little nub and sand the bottom and I don't think it'll fit in my laser so I'm probably going to have to burn the bottom. Which is, I hate to do it that way, but sometimes you do what you got to do. It fit in my laser just fine, just, well, just fine, heck, barely. So I've got it lasered there, so it's got my initials, LRM, Wood Whirler, Walnut, April 2017. I think it turned out really nice. Considering it was uh, quick and dirty, I've, I've still got to put more mineral oil on the inside. Right now I'm putting uh, Danish oil out here. And uh, after this dries, I'll uh, steel wool it just a little, just enough to knock any uh, raised grain down. And that's about it. There you go, my friends. 
I get her done, I'll put it on the final final clip and we'll go do something else next time. See you later. Well, here's the finished product. It was, uh, it was pretty quick. It uh, absolutely beautiful piece of wood. This is, uh, I'm not sure if it's black walnut or English walnut. I really don't know the difference. But it, it, uh, I'm very pleased with it. It's basically finished the outside. It's finished with Danish oil. I went ahead and left it to a matte finish. The inside is a mineral oil. Just in case she wants to put a salad in it or something. So I'll give you a closer look here. Hope you can see it well. I've got the, uh, it did fit in the laser. I really love the, uh, the figure in it. So I want to get this done before this bowl goes to Oklahoma in a day or so. So there you go. Subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff and mainly keep it whirling. That's what we do. Goodbye.